Hello and welcome. You are watching I Know How. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix uh, a Wi Fi adapter turning off itself after every reboot or after every starting of PC or laptop. Before we begin, please press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for the instant updates. Mostly this uh, happens on all the laptops which has a PCI uh, Wi-Fi adapter, full-size Wi-Fi adapter and uh, most of the old laptops. You will find this fault after installing Windows 10 on old laptops which has a full-size PCI Wi-Fi adapter mostly. I'm going to show you a number of uh, ways you can try to fix this problem. The last one is my favorite, so keep watching the video till the last. Okay then, reasons why and uh, when this problem occurs. So basically, um, first thing, you might have a physical Wi-Fi on and off switch. On those laptops, it might occur. And uh, secondly, if you have a PCI, um, PCI Wi-Fi card of Ethros and uh, Intel, the full-size Wi-Fi card. If you have them on your laptop, um, after in updating your laptop to Windows 10, those problem can occur. Occur. So this one is my uh, RM Mobile One laptop, which has a physical Wi-Fi on and off switch, and also it has a PCI full PCI size uh, Wi-Fi adapter which is um, made up of Intel um, so first of all what you can do is uh, is uh, right click on the start and go to device manager then you can see your network adapters so on the top one this is my Wi-Fi adapter right click on it disable it and then enable it on this one it's it's not working but right click on your Wi-Fi adapter and uninstall and then you can see that Wi-Fi adapter is gone and then press this button this will try to reinstall the Wi-Fi adapter after it's reinstalled you can go and check your network still it does not show that's fine on my laptop there is a physical button so what I'm gonna do is press it once and press it again now my Wi-Fi adapter is working Now my Wi-Fi has uh, connected to the network. You can see that my Wi-Fi is connected now. So after you shut down your laptop and start again, this will go off again. For that, one more th thing you can do is right click on start, device manager, go to network adapters, right click on your Wi-Fi properties, go to power management, and untick this and okay by doing this it might solve your problem but in my case when I sat, sat down and start the piece laptop again the Wi-Fi adapter did not did not turn on again next one what I'm gonna do is update the driver of a Wi-Fi adapter so again right click device manager go to your network adapters right click on your adapter properties and then go to details on this property go to hardware hardware ids the top one right click and copy open your browser paste it this will find you the latest uh, driver for your wi-fi adapter on the top one you can see that 
it is showing me some driver click on that scroll down you will see that lots of companies are providing drivers for that Wi-Fi adapter so I'm gonna click on the top for that check the version it's 14.3.2.1 make sure that you're not you're downloading the latest version you want it says that it's released on 2012 which is not the latest but this is the latest available on the internet so check your version first so the latest available is 14.3.2.1 and then go to your Wi-Fi adapter properties <coughs> go, to, go to the driver and then check the driver version it's 14.2.1.4 and the one the internet is providing is 14.3.2.1 so this is the newer driver than what we have so I'm gonna try download and install it you can see this one download from HP so click on that and there is two options so download from manufacturer server click on that I'm gonna keep it so it's downloading now I'm gonna stop the download now because it's, I've, I've already downloaded it so this is the software that, that has been downloaded and then I'm gonna double click it click next I accept next and then make sure you remember this uh, file location next this is basically extracting your software to your C drive now if you check your C drive there is this SW setup and your driver is inside there so what you're gonna do is go to your device manager manager right click on your adapter update the driver this time choose browse my computer for drivers and then browse it select the location okay next So the latest driver is installed you can you can go now and uh, shut down your laptop and then start your laptop again your problem might be fixed but in my case it didn't fix so I'm gonna show you one more way to do it here is a command you can try which might fix your Wi-Fi problem so to do this you have to go to start start type search search for CMD which is command prompt and click on run as administrator and I'm gonna provide this uh, code on the description of this video you can just copy and paste and then press enter it says the operation completed successfully now these commands will fix your Wi-Fi adapter not turning on after reboot but in my case even this step did not uh, fix my problem and now there is a last step which is a hardware step basically what you have to do is open the back cover where your Wi-Fi adapter is on most of the old laptops the Wi-Fi adapter is easily accessible in the new ones it is hard to get to so to do that let's shut down my laptop after that remove the power plug flip it over and remove the battery so my Wi-Fi adapter is in inside this cover so I'm gonna remove some screws here's the back cover off I'm gonna 
take off these uh, antennas connectors remove to uh, the Wi-Fi adapter is off so here is uh, two different types of um, Wi-Fi adapters so this is a PCI full size Wi-Fi adapter and this is PCI mini mini PCI Wi-Fi adapter you're gonna do a little bit of hardware trick to solve this problem that we are facing right now so I'm gonna do it on the full size one the mini one is also same what I'm gonna do is so as you can see there is your antenna connectors so you wanna flip it over and this is a small side and the longer side so and there's a gap so we're gonna count the pin second one from this gap on the longer side so the second pin controls your Wi-Fi on and off switch we're gonna put a small thin tape so that we can cover just the second pin I'm using this um, tape cut a very thin strip just the size of that pin now paste it on the second pin I think it's a little bit bigger so I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner I'm gonna attach this thin tape on the second pin as you can see our second pin is covered by tape now the problems will be fixed same thing on the mini mini PCI Wi-Fi adapter here's your Wi-Fi antenna connector flip it over short side longer side gap from the gap to the longer side second pin you have to cover by the tape now let's connect the Wi-Fi adapter back make sure the tape is still there and then carefully insert it in the 45 degree angle and then press it down then put your two screws back connect your Wi-Fi antenna in this adapter you have seen there is a uh, three Wi-Fi antennas but uh, usually they have uh, two Wi-Fi antennas so after that put the back cover on and put the screws back at last battery is back and then turn on your laptop As you can see that straight after the laptop boots up the Wi-Fi is connected it connects automatically now and it does not and the Wi-Fi adapter does not power off and also the problem is no more now so this is the ultimate fix for your Wi-Fi adapter not turning on after your laptop starts the only disadvantage of this is if you want to if you try to turn off your Wi-Fi using your physical Wi-Fi button you can't you can't turn off it's gonna stay on as your physical Wi-Fi on and off switch does not work anymore which was pretty much useless anyway to turn off your Wi-Fi just go to your network settings and then click on this Wi-Fi and this is how you turn it off and turn back on go there again click on Wi-Fi again and you are connected to the Wi-Fi 
so basically so basically all the laptops which has a physical Wi-Fi on and on on and off switch after Windows 10 update that seems to be like it's creating problem so that is how you can bypass that physical Wi-Fi button problem and this is how you fix it if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section and if you have enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe below to keep up with more upcoming videos hit the bell icon have a good time until next video see you then bye bye